Sir, why are we buying ingredients from a different company now? You said we were done doing business with them! Everyone's jacking up their prices these days! They're the only ones that we can afford! We can't raise our prices, so it's the only way! But their product doesn't meet our standards. Doesn't matter, it's our job to make everything better. But most of the ingredients we get from them are damaged. I don't think it's worth it. I'm the owner here! I run things, not you! If you don't agree with the way I do things, why don't you just quit? Ugh. I'm Mizuki Ayagi. I started working here when I was 20, and it's been 8 years, but I decided to quit. My former boss, the old owner, wasn't like this. After he passed away a few years ago, he took over, and things have been going downhill ever since. Fine, I quit! He was running this place, and I couldn't be a part of it. I tried talking to him, but he wasn't going to change his ways, so I had no choice but to leave. I miss my old boss. Hey, are you okay? After leaving the restaurant, I went to this bar and started drinking. But then this random girl started talking to me. Huh? Oh, sorry to bother you. It's just that I saw you crying and I was just worried. Oh, uh, yeah, I've had better days. You wanna go do something together? I'm having a bad day too, and I could use some company. Oh. Come on, let's go party. It'll help you take your mind off of things. Usually, I'd never agree to something like this, but honestly, I didn't really care anymore, so why not? So we headed out into the city, but then... Hey, what are you doing with my goyo? Huh? I was so scared. He kept hitting on me. What? You gotta pay for this! Ugh, I'm such an idiot. She set me up. How did I not see that coming? Things just keep getting worse. What was that? Nothing. I just had a bad day, and now it's getting even worse. Anyways, she's the one who came up to me, you know? But I guess you know that. Freeming other people like this, does it make you feel better? Ugh, what's his problem? Creep? Don't push me, asshole! Shut up! I just quit my job! I worked there for eight years! I basically got fired! So I don't need this right now! Leave me alone! Are you drunk or something? I think I need to teach you a lesson! Stop it! I already called the cops. If you got something to hide, you better leave right now. God damn it! <sighs> Let's just go! You okay? I'm fine, just leave me alone. What's your problem? I just saved you. You're not even gonna thank me? Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> That's better. So, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, fair enough. You want to come with me then? Okay. <laughs> You're funny. Come on, come with me. You can be my pet from now on. I'll call you Taro. Uh... Come on, what are you waiting for? Okay. Come on, Taro! Okay. I didn't even know her, but I just didn't care anymore. So I did what she told me and followed her back to her place. This is my bar. We're closed today, but... Oh. She took me to this bar. You want to eat something? I got some noodles if you want. Ugh, it's so dirty! 
Oh, right, sorry. Nobody uses this kitchen anymore. None of my employees can cook, so... <laughs> Sometimes our customers bring us food, but we usually leave it in the fridge until it rots. <laughs> um... Yeah? Can I clean this place up? And if you want, I can cook for you. You did save me back there, so... Wait, you can cook? Yep. Well, that's all I can do, really, but, uh... I'd love to try your food. Alright, but first I gotta clean this place up, so, uh, it might take a while. No problem, I got time, so I'm gonna be in the other room. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Oh, what am I doing here? Whatever. Oh, something smells really good. Oh, right, I picked up a random guy off the streets and now he's cooking for me. Smells delicious. Wow, that looks amazing. Are you a professional chef or something? Add yeah, something like that. You got any plates? Yeah, you got some for me too? Of course, I made it for you. I found some instant noodles and rice, so uh, I improvised and made some fried rice. I found the recipe online. Ah, oh, cool. May I? Sure. Wow! This is amazing! This is so good! <laughs> good to hear. I use some spices too, so... Who are you? What did you used to do? Well, I used to be a chef at this restaurant. I worked there for eight years, but I quit, so... I see... Alright, you're gonna be our chef from now on! What? My customers, they love the drinks here, but I can't cook, so I can only serve them instant noodles and stuff. But with you around, we can change all that. Please, will you come work for me? Okay. And so, she hired me as a chef. Her name was Naomi. She started telling her customers that she had a new chef. She told them that they could order whatever they wanted. Sometimes I just didn't have the ingredients to make what they wanted, but I did my best to keep the customers happy. We didn't even have a food menu, so it wasn't easy. But she said it was fine as long as the customers were happy. You did great tonight! Could you make me something to eat? I'm starving. Sure. Can you make me something too? Hey, why don't you come work for me? I, uh... No, he's mine. Oh, come on! Oh, can I borrow him once a week? No, he's mine! I want him all to myself! You're such a ladies' man. <laughs> Thanks. Being able to cook helps a lot. <laughs> want me to teach you? Really? It was pretty random how I ended up here, but I really liked it here. Naomi-san was really nice to me, and I got along with every one of my colleagues, and the customers loved my cooking. But there was one problem. Naomi, you look great, as usual. Thank you. Can I take you out to dinner this weekend? Come on, I know a great place. Oh, him again. I had no idea Ogi-san was a regular here. Thanks, but no thanks. I recently hired a new chef, and he makes the best food in the world, so I'm fine. Oh, you mean the new guy? I don't know, his cooking isn't that good. Hey, I know! Why don't you come to my place, then? Oh, right, you're a chef, too. Yep. But if you don't like the food my chef makes, there's something really wrong with your taste buds, so I don't know. What? 
You better not badmouth the chef. She's obsessed with him, so. Yup, the last guy who did that got kicked out of the bar. If you disrespect my employees, you're out of here. It's as simple as that. This new chef you hired, I'd love to meet him if that's okay. Oh, you want to meet him? Mm, sure, I guess. Uh-oh, this is bad. Hey, this customer wants to see you. Naomi, uh... Yeah? That guy out there, uh, he's my old boss. So? Uh, well... Look, hiring you was the best decision I've ever made. I love your cooking, and so do the customers. You got nothing to hide. Oh. What are you worried about? Nothing, you're right. All right, then. Okay, son, sorry to keep you waiting. This is Taro, say hi. Bark? Huh? What the hell? Oh, Yagi? Uh, I'm Taro. I know it's you, stop messing with me. Why are you working here now? Cause I hired him? Yeah. What, why? This makes no sense, why him? He's useless. Hey, stop talking about him like that. Hiring him is the best decision I've ever made. And our customers love him. Stop putting him down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Hey, I know, uh, why don't I cook for you, hmm? I can be your chef too if you want. No thanks. I want Taro. Same here. Me too! Me three! Yeah! See? Everyone loves him. So you better not mess with him. I can't breathe. Please hire me! I want to work for you too! No way. You're not cute like him. Ogi-san was a regular here, but he had a thing for Naomi, and he was causing her a lot of trouble. After that, he stopped coming to the bar. I guess things got kind of awkward for him, so that was nice. Anyways, we were busier than ever now. A lot of new customers started coming to the bar to try my food. Taro, maybe we should open during daytime and serve lunch or something. Fine by me, but uh, you're gonna have to work longer hours. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm planning to hire more people, so I want more people to try your cooking. <laughs> Thanks. And so she started serving lunch during the day. People were lining up in front of her store and sales were through the roof. The other day I passed by my old restaurant and the place was empty. Looks like Ogi-san's ways of doing things weren't working. His customers were leaving him and it wasn't looking good for him. Here's your paycheck. Thank you. I gave you a big bonus. Enjoy! What? Are you sure about this? This is more than I made at my old restaurant. Well, thanks to you, customers are spending more money at my place now, so it's okay. I guess people drink more when the food is delicious. <laughs> and, uh, maybe I should stop calling you Taro. Oh, it's fine. I like that name. No. Oh. Well then, when I'm on the job, I'll call you Taro. But when we're alone, I'll call you Mizuki. Uh, okay, but why? You just don't get it, do you? Take a hint already. Huh? What do you mean? Just think about what I said, okay? Once you realize that, I'm gonna start calling you Mizuki. Got it? Uh, okay. At the time, I had no idea what she was talking about, but I soon realized that she liked me. And I liked her too. So, 
It didn't take too long for us to become boyfriend and girlfriend. I guess he really loves to cook. Good for him. I wonder when he's gonna realize that Naomi likes him. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Anyways, glad everything worked out for them. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.